I figured that would happen. We are back and we're finally doing the Dalek mod 1.16.5. I promised I would do that so long ago. You know, I'm not sure how long this video will be. I have a lot to show. Now, Dalek mod 1.16.5 is a completely different like mod. It's like, it's made by the same people, obviously, but like it's completely overhauled. Everything is different. Well, obviously this isn't part of Dalek mod. Uh, I just wanted a kitchen. And in this fridge, we have everything that we would ever need cronk fries cronk dog cronk meat now you can keep that i'll take some dalek waffles why not? Ooh, fish fingers and custard. Bro, I'm ha I have too much food on me now. I'm gonna exclusively eat fish fingers and custard. But this, this should be like every food item that they added. Pretty sure this is everything. You know, this is a nice kitchen. Hold up. Can I cook Dalek? Yo, I can finish. There we go. Here is my room full of Dalek mod stuff. We have a lot to go over. What do I want to start with? I guess I'll start on this side. These are all the ores that they added. I'm pretty sure there are more. But this block is interesting. This is the Archon block. I have no idea why it makes like everything transparent. You can like even see caves underground with that block. It's such a weird block. I just realized I don't have Cinnabar here. That's fine. Oh my gosh, I did that by accident. You can find the sonic crystals in these meteors. There was a design flaw in my lab. I have no way back. This is the cinnabar. There we go, that's what it looks like. So there are three different armor sets. We have brass. No, no, this is dolicanium. What the heck? What is wrong with my feet? Can I fly? Hold on, am I gonna have to pull up the wiki for this? I thought I knew everything, but I don't know what the hell that is. Is it like magnets? I don't know. Okay, I just realized that I can only find the 1.12 wiki. Steel armor. This is so strong and it's so easy to make steel. You just smelt iron. It's so much stronger than diamond. Is it? Oh wait, no, it's not stronger than diamond. Bro, it's like basically the same. It's, it's, it's even better. It has knockback resistance. Metal alert. I remember this in the 1.12 version. Fun fact about the 1.12 version, I was there when it ended. I played the 1.12 DMU for like a long time and I remember it ending. There was this whole like ending event where everyone online brought their TARDISes to like this pit and we all said goodbye. It was like a bunch of the devs were on and all of us were on. It was such a good time. And then like literally right after that, 1.16.5 released. This armor is so strong. Oh yeah, here's the a hologram you can make it anybody's name so it's just me as a hologram you can make it solid you can make it have small arms which looks weird on me as <laughs> What's in here? Oh yeah, these are like all the tools that are in the mod. Give me the med alert stuff because that's like the strongest. They have battle axes too? That's awesome. Oh, give me the pickaxe. I want this. Okay, so we have explosive devices and nitro nine. There we go, desert eagle. Ah, hold up. I want that metal bat. Bro, my inventory is way too full for this. Give me the metal, yeah, yeah. That's such a good model. I thought it was just gonna be like, the battle axe where it's just the the object in my hand they have like a whole model for it this is a lever for the tardis which we're gonna review in a bit we have the engineering table which is very useful for making a bunch of stuff actually actually i'll be back for the computer because this is something that came out after i stopped playing uh so it's gonna be fun to use that Oh yeah, these are the supporters. These are just plushies in the creative menu. Can you make these? Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't get to, <laughs> I don't know who you are. The supporters are awesome. I want to put on the 3D glasses. Oh, that's weird. I didn't realize it would actually give me the 3D effect. That is so weird. Why? Why is that a thing? Gas mask. Are you my mummy? <laughs> are you my mummy? This is actually really creepy. Like imagine like using a gas mask for a horror map. I don't know, I'm pretty scared right now. We're just gonna take that off. The Dalek eye stock is probably the coolest one though. This is awesome. I already got the achievement by accident, but if you grab all of these Dalek parts, if you put them all on, you could pretend to be a Dalek. I wonder if a Dalek would notice me. Hey man, you think I'll look like a Dalek to these guys? Hold on, I'm gonna spawn a Dalek to see. All right, I hope I don't die. 
Yo, it's actually working. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. I'm a Dalek. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome, man. I didn't think that would work. Hold on, where is that achievement? Oh, right here. Not your puppet. Disguise yourself as a Dalek using discarded eye stalks, plungers, and weaponry. I'm a Dalek, I promise. Okay, what happens if I take that off? Oh, hit, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh! No! I'm a Dalek! No! <laughs> Exterminate the exterminator. Kill a Dalek with their own weaponry? Bro, I love these achievements. Oh yeah, this is why I didn't want to use the cannon. Can I break glass with the gun? Yo, I can! That's sick. Here, I'll give you a fish fingers and custard. There you go. Here. Anti-radiation drugs. Okay, I might need one of those. So I'm gonna take that. Credits? I have no idea what credits are used for. And we'll use this later. My inventory is way too full, man. This is a lodestone amplifier. Actually, I don't know. What does a lodestone amplifier do? Uh, this is to the kitchen. We don't need to go there. What is this? This is the roundel builder. So in this mod, you get like so much customization for your freaking TARDISes. It's insane. You can like build custom roundels and there are, there are like literally a ton of them. Th this basically acts like a stone cutter just for roundels. Now this it's a charging thing. I actually don't remember what the 1.12 version needed for fuel. In this version, you need Artron energy. Now, it's very easy to get this energy. Literally, just keep one of these banks outside and over time, it'll give you what you want. You just put a, you put a bottle in there and it'll give you the energy. Why did you drink a bottle of Archon energy that can't be good for you? I don't know, man. It gave me resistance. <laughs> it was just like, why did you do that? Uh, this is a storage vault. It's actually pretty hard to break. Can I mine this? I can mine it. Huh. Oh, yeah. To open it, you have to have it powered. So that's why I had lever. Oh, yeah. There was a fez in here. <laughs> I forgot. If you break it, it takes everything out. My secret fez. Uh, what's in here? sonic screwdriver stuff i'm actually gonna put all these daleks away i'll explain why i just have a bunch of daleks in my inventory when i get there what i thought was funny is that sonic screwdriver does not work on wooden doors works on iron though this is a deadlock door as the doctor said a sonic screwdriver doesn't do wood or deadlock doors i keep saying i'll get to things later um but i'll really get to this later <laughs> I actually want to go test out these explosive devices. Run, 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 run. Oh, oh, it's just one Nitro 9. I was like five TNT worth. Run. Oh, damn, that's definitely bigger. That's probably like 10 TNT. Are you a Zygon? Are you? Get back to work protecting, protecting my lab man from bad guys okay we went over mostly everything in here okay we're finally doing the computer hold on wait what Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all you time-traveling Whovians out there, prepare yourselves for a Kerblam-tastic adventure like no other. Introducing the one, the only Kerblam, your friendly intergalactic delivery service. How about a delicious Kerblam meal to feed your companions while saving the universe? But wait, there's more. Kerblam man now comes non-lethal. Even Daleks can't resist our delivery service. They're shouting, Kerblam it! Kerblam is so easy to use, even Cybermen are giving up their evil plans to become loyal customers. So, what are you waiting for? Join the Kerblam revolution and have your deliveries sent through time and space. Kerblam, because sometimes the universe just needs a little more. Kerblam! Kerblam is not responsible for customer dismemberment, loss of items, or death. That was interesting. You can buy, like, a bunch of stuff from 
this kerblam computer i think it's just a computer i don't like the 13th doctor's run that much but i do gotta say i i do like a good bit of the episodes the first 13th doctor season is probably my favorite it kind of dropped off after that i probably liked all the specials maybe the sea dogs the sea devil one was kind of boring to me all the other specials are amazing i, I freaking love the groundhog day special you know what i'm talking about the one where they like die by daleks and they they like keep redoing for the same hour it's so good. I love that episode. One of my favorite episodes is the Kerblam episode. I love the idea of just like this universal Amazon. Actually, can I order a Frez? Yeah, let's order a Fez. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you for your purchase. Remember, if you want it, Kerblam it, bro. It's awesome. <laughs> it is so cool. Bubble wrap and the Fez. Ah. Remember, if you want it, her blam it. Let's go. We can buy the plate panel. Add to basket. Oh, uh, what else? Ooh, jelly beans? Oh, this is so good. What the hell? I could buy Minecraft classic lava. You made a weeping angel statue. You made a lamp post. Let's buy everything. Bro, I freaking love the Kerblam man. He gave me two boxes. Oh, it was full. I freaking love the Kerblam box. It's like one of the greatest things that Chibnall has ever given us. I still never will forgive him for the timeless child, though. We'll never forgive him for that. This lava is not hurting me. Is this even real lava? A weeping angel statue. Guys, guys, don't worry. These are only statues. They're not real. They're not the real weeping angels. Those weeping angels are in jail. Yeah, I said they're in jail. I'm gonna keep this flight panel on me. And speaking of flight panel, it is time for us to go. So the TARDISes in this version are way different than the TARDISes in the 1.12 version. Let's go down here and show y'all. Here we have our farm area. So to build the TARDIS, we have all the ingredients here. So you have to make this, the TARDIS coral plant. And to do that, you gotta get all these objects. Now, it's not hard to get any of these. The hardest thing that you'll be able, that you'll need to get is the TARDIS core. And you need dragon's breath and another star. So you have to finish the game <laughs> to get the freaking TARDIS which is pretty funny these are the panels these are all the panels you can put inside of the tardis on the right this is what you need to craft the tardis panels like thing and on the left right here are optional panels now i wouldn't say optional for like these uh because this is what you need to like make the freaking waypoints i'm pretty sure i already got the achievement but i'm still gonna try to craft this there we go. Now, I already grew all these TARDISes because it was going to take a long time to grow. We'll keep coming back to this to see how it grows. So we're going to pick a TARDIS here. Which one calls out to me? Which one calls my name? That one right there. You specifically. You are my TARDIS. So you have a bunch of TARDIS stuff. You have Sidrat capsule. I don't know what that I, I'm not I'm not an extreme Doctor Who fan. So don't yell at me. But I am a really good Doctor Who fan. I promise. I love, I love Doctor Who. So I'm just gonna make it a police box. Now I haven't been in the TARDIS in this world, so I'm pretty sure I'll get an achievement. Now before we get in there, I'm gonna put all of this stuff away. I'm gonna grab a Statenheim remote. I'm gonna grab these extra keys. Oh look, it grew a little bit more. Whoa, I freaking love that sound, man. It gives you a nice little tutorial here. Transdimensional engineering. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's a cool thing that they added. <laughs> you could snap the doors closed, man. Let me put these down. Uh, that's the light alternator, the data writer, and the flight panel, which probably shouldn't be here, but hey, it's fine. But usually I just get the gold data modules, but I guess it would be dangerous to have these like gold ones because you can overwrite them. So basically you go over here, you put in the module that you want to use, and then you can input the name. So let's put lab, enter to confirm. There we go. And that's the name. I think I did it right. So the waypoint is now lab. Because before, you could just put in the waypoints in the console of the like 1.12 version. But now, you have to actually use these items. I wonder if it actually works. Hold on. Uh. 
That animation is like so much better from 1.12. Oh, wait, I can snap from the outside too. That's beautiful. Let's put in the data module, apply the waypoint, and let's see if it takes me back. Okay, in the meantime, we're gonna put our Sonic in there. We could change the Sonic screwdriver. It's any one we want. Here's my favorite doctors. Is this an actual screwdriver? That's funny. Here's a Sonic lipstick, the Sonic candy cane, or just a Sonic screwdriver. I've never seen that before. The Sonic pen. It's the 13th doctor. It's the 12th doctor. It's my favorite one. It's my favorite doctor. Is it my favorite Sonic? I don't know. It's either this or this. This one's cool, but green isn't my color. I love that sound. Is this... Are we home? Are we back? Oh, we are back. Yeah, so that is how it works. Oh, look. It is definitely growing. Oh, shoot. This kind of reminds me of the journey to the center of the TARDIS episode. I love that episode. The chameleon panel, not just a capsule. You can make it so much stuff. You can make it wooden planks, blend in with your, like your friend's base. I am really happy though. They poured it over my favorite TARDIS. There are so many skins. Here it is. This is my favorite skin. Let's use the fast return lever. The fast return lever brings you back to the last place like you departured. There's a flight information. That's where we're going. That's where we were. Yeah, look, that's how the fast return lever works. Okay, this is how you input like the stuff now. Okay, so you have to... You can change the increment to whatever you want. Oh, yeah, and you can turn off height calculator. That's a weird glitch. If you put anything in the fluid link and then leave, it's gone forever. Oh, yeah, you can change your interior. So there are like different default interiors. Crystalline, a default TARDIS, which is what you always get. A copper. Oh, this is just freaking 11th Doctors. Oh, this is a template. Yeah, you, you can use this to just build your own. Oh, I have to put all these in here? I'm not doing that. Ah, I want to. I really want to. It's gonna take a long time. And I don't have that much time. I'll finally show y'all what's behind this door. Okay, let's go. Wait, before we go there, we gotta play this. We are here in the prison. I locked up all, shut up. I locked up all of the doctor's foes, enemies, you know, people that I thought would hurt me. And I put them in here. As you can see, I'm in survival and none of them, none of them can kill me. I even named them all prisoner. Now, the one I did have a problem with was the Daleks. Now, the reason I had all those Daleks in my inventory at the beginning was because putting a Dalek inside of this room was hell. They would literally just get so mad they would kill each other. They would kill themselves, not each other. Like, look, I'm gonna take one, right? And I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put them in here. Exterminate. There. Are you chill now? Are you for real chill? When I start recording, you're chill? I would literally keep a Dalek in here. Like I even made it so that they have a thing under their glass because they could just break the glass and leave. I wasn't even considering giving you glass because you're, you guys are so annoying. Bro, they're not even attacking anymore. Usually they would just blow up everything. I had so much trouble with this guy. Maybe it's the type of Dalek I put in. I don't know. We have the Dalek, obviously. Iconic Dr. Hoover. There it is. There it is. I told you. I told you. I thought. No? Okay. Okay. Yep. He killed himself. I, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> like I said it, bro. I said he was just gonna kill himself. I don't know why. I don't know why that happens. They just go into self-destruct mode, man. Every single Dalek, I tried it with all of them. I really tried to put one in this cage. It just didn't work. I don't know why they killed themselves. The Dalek is one of the most recognizable Doctor Who villains, though. Here we have a Cybermat. I don't know if you can find these like guys regularly, but I did realize that if you killed a Cyberman, they have a chance of coming out of the Cyberman. Here we have a Cyber Drone, okay. They just fly around and they're creepy. I don't know if they do damage, but I'm not willing to test that out. They're in prison cells for a reason. Here we have an Ood. Actually, they, they might not be bad guys. I'm gonna let you out because you might not be evil. You see, you're chill, you're chill, you're, you're my guy. You're not a prisoner anymore. It's okay, Dream. Stand down. You too, Dan. You too, Stampy. This guy's chill. 
Now here we have a cyber villager. This is what villagers turn into when they die to the cybermen. Don't 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 let this trick you though. Um, they still they still will kill you. From what I could see, there were, there were three different cybermen like models. You have this one. If you can look at me, you saw it. He has like a little headphone thing, which is like darker than the rest. And he has like this little brain on the front of him. Here, we have basically the regular Cyberman. There's like nothing special about him. He's just a regular Cyberman. And then you have like the darker Cyberman. I killed this one and three Cybermats came out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it depends on their model, if like a Cybermat comes out or not. Here we have the Autons. Are you guys dangerous? I'm not sure if you're dangerous. Hold on. Oh my gosh, that scared me. Damn. <laughs> he went flying. That scared me though. I got a good jump scare out of that. He went freaking flying. I didn't realize the baseball bat had so much knockback. It's five knockback. Okay, so you guys are evil. It was you guys literally just like pulled out guns from your hands. I don't even remember what episode these guys are from. And here we have the weeping angel. Now, I have no idea if the weeping angel does what I think it does. You know, touches you and you teleport somewhere. So I'm gonna let you out. Look at, look at him. Okay. He's looking at me, right? Where is it going? Can't even attack the man. Dude, we're gonna need to get out of here. Come here, come here. You gotta get out of here. I accidentally let out something that I could not kill. Get in, get in, get in. Ood, ood. Please, please listen to me. Please, 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 please. I want you to survive with me. Come on. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. Come on. You know you're gonna die, right? If I leave you here, so get in. Get in my turret. There we go. Close door, close door, close door. Okay. Let's go see where you find the Autons and the Cybermen. So the Autons, you can find them in dungeons underground. Now the dungeons look like this. I have no idea why you would like explore this. I guess you could take these. Ow. Is there like a chest under here? I'm not sure. I don't know if there's like a point to this thing. I wonder what happens if you put a weeping angel in your TARDIS. Literally nothing. I put myself in danger for no reason. Light alternator. Light alternator. Nice. I'm gonna leave you in my TARDIS, right? I trust you not to like steal my TARDIS or anything. Oh, look, it's almost done. Oh, <gasps> no. Uh, it's Cyberman tomb. It is so dark in here. Oh, what did I do? Here we go, game. Oh my gosh. Ah! Stop, stop. You're gonna kill me. Why y'all do so much damage? Ah, this is so dangerous. Why does this exist? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Oh, I got one. I got one. Oh, I got both of them. Okay. Oh, shoot. There's one with guns now. Shut up. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay off, stay off. St stop. Save me. Save me, please. Please. No. No, weeping angel, please. I'm dead. Oh, look, they're all gone. Nice. I could steal their music disc. That's how you get the Cyberwave music disc. Bro, it sucks. You, like, literally can't kill them. What are you supposed to do? I guess you can only trap them. Where can you find them, though? It's like, imagine just like running into these guys. These guys are just in your base. What are you gonna do? Okay, now we should be... Should be home. Nah, oh, I'm not home. Oh, I'm not home. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm sick. I'm sick of the old world. The old world sucks. I'm gonna go back in time to when things were better. You're coming with me. I don't care. Let's go back in time. Ah, ah, ah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I turned off the freaking height calculator. Early days? It says Minecraft inf dev at the top left. I have a score. Yo, the cobblestone you get here is classic cobblestone. There we go. Ah yes, this is much better. Oh man. Isn't this nice? Oh, I miss these sounds, man. Aw, oh, the water doesn't sound different. Oh, this place looks so beautiful, man. I went back even further to Minecraft class. Actually, no. Did I be going back or forward? I don't remember. I'm not a nerd. Oh, that's why I left. That's why I left. That's why I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. Run, 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 run
Ah, uh, why are there so many mobs here? Actually, I do think this is like even way before. Oh my gosh, why are there so many mobs here? I have zero health. 0 0.26 survival test. Oh my, why are the skeletons so fast? Why are they shooting arrows from nowhere? No, they're back. I'm dead. I'm Let's choose the next dimension. We have Infdev, the old world. Cave game. Let's go there. Maybe I'll see Beast Boy. That's a little, that's a little very old Minecraft joke. Before the beginning? Oh my god. This is so far back, man. There's nothing out here. Look at my old my old cave game house, you know? But this is this is my house, my cave game house. We can uh I'm gonna make a module for this. Hey buddy. Cave house. Enter. There we go. Oh wait, I just realized they re they removed the freaking end. But but what you can do is if you go to the end and make a data module there, it will take you to that dimension like 100%. So any modded dimension works. You have to have gone there first. Yo, they added flights again, man. I missed this. This is so weird. I wish they added HADs back. I love HADs. Hostile action defense system. It was so cool. Like if you, if your TARDIS got attacked, it would just, what the hell? If your TARDIS got attacked in 1.12, it would just like disappear somewhere else because your TARDIS actually had health. I wish that was like incorporated into this. Yeah, I wish the TARDIS had health again because that was so cool. You had to like land the TARDIS on the Zayton block, the, the blue thing. You had to land it on that for the TARDIS to like get its health back. Oh my goodness, the cobblestone looks so bad. <laughs> Aw, it doesn't have the old door sound. I love the old door sound. I have no idea if I'm missing anything else. I feel like I'm missing something. It's just a wooden cane. Oh, that's so cool. It's like a cane animation. I, I should have had this cane the entire time. This is awesome. You know what? I have an ingenious idea. Here we go. I'm gonna pretend to be a Dalek, right guys? And I'm gonna summon all of the Daleks as like the last thing to do for this video. One, two, three, four. Whoa! Holy crap. Stop blowing me up. This is such a bad idea. <laughs> I thought they would notice me as like a guy on their team, man. Don't blow me up. Don't blow me up. Don't blow me up. Oh my gosh. This is so loud. How did you get here? How? 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 No. Get. What the heck are you shooting me with? Not in my base, please. Ah, uh, how did you get here? How did you get here? No. I can't believe all that happened. This is fun though, man. This mod is amazing and it's still constantly getting updated. Well, I'll see all of you later. Don't kill me.